All right, I'm Rudak, and all right, I'm Rudak, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to do a Blood Raider Naval Shipyard 10 out of 10 DED site. So, first things first, we're going to show you the fitting that you need. Um, so, as you can see here. Um, main components is just five cruise launchers. Uh, my skills are not very good, so um, we're using our ballist. We have two drone link augmenter tubes. It's used for the first two rooms. Um, a compact MWD, 500mm. We're full of complete large cap battery. This is mostly for fitting, but also a little bit for battery life. A drone navigation computer one. This is to make the first and second room a little bit faster. Um, and uh, I'm only using a tech one because of fitting, because I want to make this fit as cheap as possible. Um, micro jump drive um, needed for every room, especially for the last one. Uh, very important. Um, you will not be able to complete complete the site without this. Large armor repair too. Um, pretty cheap module. Uh, so just showing how cheap this can be done with. Um, three drone damage amp twos. Uh, for the first and second room you'll go down two in the uh, last room. Um, and again just for cheapness uh, sake we have two uh, capacitor power relays of the um, compact design. Uh, reactive armor hardeners. This is a very, very important module and will make this entire site possible. Two large EM armor reinforcer one rigs. One large thermal armor reinforcer one rig. Your missiles. You're going. Uh, it takes about a thousand to do this site. It's actually about seven hundred, but a thousand for sure. Um, Five hundred nanite repair paste that will come into uh, effect later. Uh, three cap booster 3200s. Okay. You're going to want, and uh, this is pretty exact actually, you're going to want nine Praetors. Uh, this could be Tech 2, it could be Imperial Navy. I'm using Imperial Navy because my drone skills are not great. Um, 18 Acolyte 2s. This is because in the second room your Acolytes are going to be used as ammo. Uh, you're going to lose a couple of them, uh, probably about six to eight. Uh, infiltrator Navy, sorry, Imperial Navy Infiltrators uh, of the Moving Variety. These won't be used that much, but they will have certain things that are useful against the elite uh, cruisers in the same room. <clears throat> now, for my inventory, what you need is another Republic Fleet large cap battery. Okay? Um, and here, um, a large compact PB acid cap battery. This could be another Republic Fleet large cap battery to uh, make it so that the last room you have a little bit more cap stability. Um, shouldn't be too bad though. Uh, dark Blood Thermal Armor Hardeners and a Dark Blood EM Armor Hardener. This is because uh, they are Dark Blood because they're cheap and also because they help with the fitting a lot. Uh, heavy Capacitor Booster 2. Which is useful from the last room in case you need, in case you're getting capped out from something, you can swap it on with this mobile depot. But we'll get more to that in the end of the video. Um, two drone link aug augmenter ones. This is just mostly for fitting. If you can fit two with the uh, final room fitting, then this will work just fine. Uh, then the twos will work just fine. Um, but again, my my skills are not great, so I have problems fitting. Um, large ancillary armor repair. This is for the last room. Again, 500 nanite paste and three cap booster 3200s. Okay. Now, just to help me with fitting, I do have one implant in, and it is a 1% CPU implant. Okay. So, I'm gonna undock, and we're gonna go to the site.
warp drive active. I'm doing this in my home system, so there is a little bit of danger, so I will be hitting the descan button more than I would uh, like to do, but not much you can do about that. And obviously, we are doing this on an Armageddon. I forgot to mention that. It's a great ship. Great ship. Warp drive active. Ah, one second. Um, I forgot to show the skills that I have. The skills I have for this are. Um, Mar Battleship 4. You can do this with 3, but it will take a lot longer. Um, I, I would go with four just to be really safe. To be really safe. Um, heavy drones, um, three. So again, my skills are not great. Um, and uh, let's see, my weapon upgrades are three for advanced and four for weapon upgrades. Five again would help a lot with fitting, but not that important. That's the main thing you want to have, um, and with this fit right here, you should have at least, well, let's see, simulate, you should be stable, you should be stable with this fit, with 25% uh, capacitor sustainable. So that's not true stable, but yeah, if you have less than that, you might need to work on your skills a little bit to uh, correct that. All right. So, first things first, you want to turn your reactive armor hardener on and start turning around. Pull out your light drones, unlock all the stasis towers that are targeting you. Those have to go. Now, you never want to turn your stasis hardeners off, I mean, uh, your armor hardener off. If it turns off, that's going to really hurt your final room. So you want to directly MJD backwards in this room, away from the acceleration gate. Okay. You want to keep killing all these stasis towers. All your drones in as need be. And you want to lock up the frigates first. Elite frigates, especially. So, the main thing about the reactive armor hardener is you want to be getting slammed by these blood cruise missile batteries because they're going to augment your reactive armor hardener to 60% EM resistance, which is going to be very important for that final room. Very critical. Uh, without that, it would be incredibly difficult to uh, succeed. We're gonna, we're gonna kill this real quick. So one thing about the reactive armor hardener is that it, uh, while it does react to damage, there is some sort of buffer beyond this 60 when they're all at zero where. Essentially, it won't turn off of 60 just based off of a little bit of damage. You'll have 
a couple cycles. Um, I don't know how far the buffer is. It could be infinite, or it could be, you know, uh, essentially infinite. But these don't hit that often, so you'll get, like, probably about 50 cycles worth of 60% before it even starts changing to uh, anything else. Which is very important, again. So you're just going to slowly walk towards them, while your drones as need be. Your armor repper on, use your reactive armor hardener. This room takes the longest, for sure. You didn't need to clear everything. But it's not that bad, because again, you're, you're priming your reactive armor hardener for that final room, which will make the final room uh, pretty easy. It's pretty easy. On, get a little closer. That's important that you don't get within 25k of any harbingers that might be here um, or archbishops because they will nuke you out. Oracles and Apostles are fine, they do not nuke. Ah, we lost a drone, that's fine. Drones are ammo. Well, all of your drones are ammo on this site when you're doing it like this. So let's take out some of these cruisers. We'll use our cruise missiles for that. Speed it up a little bit. I want to be killing these small frigates and destroyers. Or 
buckles and the console's hard, fine? Then you're not new. Too far because then the legend towers will actually hit them. Alright, now that we're done with the first room, um, I would also suggest that you keep these four fizz missile batteries alive in case you mess up in the final room. You might have to warp back and reprime your armor hardener. And these things are very good to do that. Okay, now the second room that's coming up is the Your Light Drones Are Ammo Room. Because it's just a bunch of elite frigates and a couple of uh, elite cruisers and nine battleships and two sentry towers, uh, web towers. So there's no real danger in here um, as long as you just MJD away and kill those uh, stasis towers. All right, so we're gonna head in there. And we're gonna do the exactly the same thing. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna MJD. Okay. But first, we're gonna kill web towers. Once these are dead, then you MGD. Because in a second here, a bunch of elite frigates will spawn. I wonder if you have to attack the battleships first. I'm not sure what happened, I have Strange. It looks like my site might have slightly bugged out and there were no frigates, but that shouldn't be a big deal. For MWD to slow down, turn off and let it slow down. Play this. 
And we're going to fit up the final room. Sure your guns are fully reloaded. Okay. Wait, and we'll have people to come online, and then we will begin fitting. So, first things first, I'm going to take off our drone augmenters from the Tech 1s. Take off our MWD, not our drone navigation computer. Put on the Cat batteries. Take off our power relays and our hardeners. So I'm going to correctly space these. purposes. Then we want to take off so we want our EM here, our thermal here, the thermal doesn't get much heat. Um, then we want our ancillary right here. We want to nanite repair paste it. Let it reload. And um that should be everything. Now we just wait for it to reload. Now then. We want to So the ancillary, you want to always overheat this while repping with it, because it is a huge bonus. You should have more than enough heat to keep this heated when you rep. Now you don't want to run this non-stop, because this is just to top you off. Okay. Now then, for the first part of this room, you want to overheat your hardener. Uh, your EM hardener. I'll scoop this. Uh, if you're feeling unsure, you can also heat your thermal. Just make sure you turn it off after you MJD. Okay, so now it's very important that when you get in this room, that you MJ downwards at a 45 degree angle towards the stronghold. This is very important. This is the most optimal angle to take the least amount of damage and give you the most time to kill the structure. Okay? Now, you don't heat, you don't want to heat your cruise missiles right away you want to start heating them as you're firing around the 40 50 percent threshold of its hp because it's passive tank so you want to blow through its most optimal um regen as fast as possible and get it down to zero where it will no longer play much of a part okay and you can see that our hardener is still 60 percent em and zero all the other ones this is very good em is over here okay all right. <clears throat> now, when you get in here, you want to before you land, you want to, you want to find the thing while you're warping in the grid, right? So right here, I have it clicked so I can see it now. Okay, and we turn on our hardeners. We want to release our drones as fast as possible. Target this. Aim downwards. Put our missiles on. Do this. Our Tech 2 Rep are on. Okay. Now we're gonna wait till we turn down a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna use this. We're gonna wait a little bit longer. And we're going to fire our MJD. Okay. Now we 
should be pretty safe here. Now, you want to deploy your mobile depot. So we're gonna wait here, okay? Now we want to turn off hardening. We want to turn off overload, okay? On everything except for the Tech 2 wrapper. Except for the ancillary, I mean. Very important. You want you want this heat to all go to this. I'm gonna orbit this at 500. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, because you're essentially not moving anyway. Okay. Okay, we're gonna turn heat off. It goes off. Okay, this go this goes off actually now. Since we are full HP, we do not need to wrap it anymore. Now we're gonna wait for the next missile from the stronghold, and then we're gonna wrap it one more time, and then we're gonna reload it. To be obvious, it'll be a big chunk of health. Okay, now we're gonna overheat these. Now your praetors are also ammo. Okay, we're gonna use this once. Turn it right back off. Okay, then we're gonna reload it. Okay. Now your praetors are, are again, as, as I said, ammo. If they die, throw it back out there. Do not try to withdraw or anything. It's not worth it. It will not make it back to you. They are dead. Okay. The sooner you accept that, the sooner you get done with this uh, room. Okay. Patriarchs are approaching us. They do new. Now you can't take this off and replace it with your cap battery, your cap booster. Okay. Well, well, turn heat off until this thing gets done reloading. So we're gonna wait here. Our Ansel is almost done reloading. We're actually gonna start pointing this way now. I'm gonna turn the heat back on this thing. I'm gonna start repping back up again. Turn heat back off. We're gonna turn heat back on, actually. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna keep that off. Okay, use fitting service. Now we're gonna throw our cap battery on. Take this off. Put this on. Put this on. Okay. I'm gonna wait for it to reload. We're gonna, we're gonna turn that off. We're gonna boost our cap. Turn that off. You can even do it again. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay, we're gonna throw another Praetor out. Launch it. Engage the target. You're, you're pretty resistant to capping out because of the batteries, so their new power doesn't really do much to you. Structure is almost dead. Should be dead any moment now. <clears throat> now, once that gets done reloading, you should probably turn auto reload up on this thing. It's it's probably for the better. Okay. I'm going to use the fitting service again. We're going to rip this off. Put this back on. We haven't been repping with our Ansel, but that's fine. Loop the cargo hold. Okay. All right, we're gonna MJD away. Have these guys start returning towards us. We're going to bookmark the, the uh, wreck. Your drones will probably not make it to you. Going to line to the keep to a structure or some other body to get out of here.
wait for our drones to get back. So you just want to MJD away from the enemies, which is behind the structure, generally. So you're not uh, scrammed or pointed. Okay. Once they're back, we warp off. One more bookmark in case you know. Okay, we we did. Self drive active. Spawn. Okay, now we want to wait about two to three minutes. Then we're going to warp back and we're going to collect our loot. Very easy. Very easy. Waiting. Test by uh more. Okay, see it. It's not. It's not gone yet. It's not gone yet. Get that pop up. It means the site is still there, and you just gotta wait for it. I'm unsure if checking for it will keep it open. It might. It might. I'll wait. The site and all the rats will despawn. And uh, then you collect the loot. And we are just waiting. Should be gone by now. Nope. Alright, let's go wait a little bit longer. So there's a chance that someone might be in there keeping the site open. So if that's the case, I'm just going to warp in there, right? Our thing is still going, so... Alright, it looks like no one was in there. Okay, so the site is despawned now. We're warping to the container. We're going to collect our loot. Alright, we got... Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. Alright. Walk to the Keep Star. And, uh... Dock up, and that's the video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully this, uh... Helped you out. Um... Good luck out there. Well, good luck, and stay classy.